Unraveling the phrase, Dog's Delight, a journey into English idioms. Hello and welcome to our English learning journey. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, Dog's Delight. This expression is packed with cultural nuances and is a vivid example of how language can paint pictures with words. Let's dive in and uncover the layers of meaning behind this intriguing phrase. At first glance, dog's delight might conjure images of a happy, tail-wagging dog. But in the realm of English expressions, it's not always about a literal interpretation. This phrase is actually an idiom, which means its meaning isn't directly related to the individual words it contains. Instead, it's a colorful way to describe something that is chaotic or in disarray. Just like a dog might joyfully scatter things around in play, dog's delight depicts a situation where everything is all over the place. To fully grasp dog's delight, let's see it in action through some examples. After the kids played in the living room, it was a dog's delight, with toys and cushions everywhere. The windy storm left the backyard a dog's delight, with branches and leaves scattered all around. These examples help us understand that dog's delight is often used to describe a mess or a state of disorder, but in a somewhat light-hearted and humorous way. Incorporating idioms like dog's delight into your conversations can add a splash of color and personality to your language. It's perfect for informal settings where you want to describe a mess without sounding too harsh or critical. Next time you encounter a messy room or a chaotic situation, try saying, wow, this place is a real dog's delight, and watch how it sparks curiosity and adds a playful twist to your observation. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, dog's delight. Remember, diving into idioms like this one not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you a peek into the cultural intricacies of the English language. I hope you found this journey delightful and informative. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll be using idioms like a native speaker. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.